Hey there YouTube, Super Brain AK here. I know it's been a while, but I'm uh, just making sure I'm doing what I'm doing. Starting work. But anyway, check out this thing that I have made a little while ago. And I've been testing it since then. Can you tell what it used to be? <laughs> well, it's definitely not anymore. See some USB ports up here. XT60 right there where the Ethernet should be. And then in the bottom, you can see maybe some pouch cells there. Let's open it up and see what it is. Yep. It is a power bank. There we go. So we've got eight cells there. One. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And then on the other side, there's four as well. So these are, this is a 2S. I mean, 4S 2P uh, battery pack. And I've got a 4S BMS there. Um, it is supposed to be a 30 amp, if you can read the original silk screen there. But I removed one of the sense resistors, which is um, 4 milliohms. So it should be 15 amps. Because I didn't need that much current for this thing. Um, and yeah. So I removed the plug there so it could be flatter and just soldered things directly. So yeah. It's just a very simple BMS. And then I've got two positives here going out. One going to the XD60, which would be... Um, output for charging, or input for charging and output for doing various things like put some DC um, 12 volt uh, sockets on it or power an inverter straight, one of those little car inverters. And then I've got the other positive going over to this, which is a little... Um, USB module. You can see these little quick charge boards. We've got the positive going here, positive jumping over to this guy, and then we've got the negative actually coming off here, back to here, which goes through the protection and back to the batteries. And this negative goes to here. So this is the charge load side and that's the actual battery side of the negative but anyway so the positive goes straight to here and then the negative of these usb modules goes through this mosfet here i don't know how well you can see that but yeah so this mosfet actually its gate comes over on this orange through this switch and so we've got positive here and then negative there. Going up and around. I don't know why I made it so long, but eh, it works. So the gate is currently on the negative side, which is discharge, and it's an end channel, so it's off. But if we switch it over to the positive side, it turns on. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, power bank and I've tested it and it is approximately 80 watt hours which is actually pretty good so I will leave that on I do need to do something about the batteries flapping in the breeze but I'm gonna put it back together real quick 
So basically just how I built it is with super glue and a Dremel. And uh, cut, I did cut most of the heat sink down. And then I put, yeah, if you didn't see, it's got a heat sink on the back of these. Kind of see if I can down there. I'm trying to get back in place here. There we go. A little fiddly. But this, I actually had to Dremel out this top part just to get these MOSFETs to fit. So. It's a tight fit. It's not flapping around up and down. It's just can move around up side to side, but not too much. But anyway, so these little quick charge boards are actually really cool. Let me show you. Not sure how well this is going to work. Adjust the angle here. And You can see it's at 12 volts. I've got my little uh, trigger board. Uh, there's 5 volts. And these are uh, 3.0. You can see there. 5.6, 5.9. They are um, only up to 12 volts. You got five, nine, twelve, and then that should be twenty volts, but it isn't. You wouldn't get twenty volts from these chips anyway because they're only buck converters. Anyway, so twelve volts, see how much amperage, and they are separate, they're completely independent. So that other one is 12 volts, this one's at 5 volts. But they're both quick charge, 3.0. So how much power can we get from it? I'll turn this up like this. Focus, there you go. You can see that top right in that screen. Sorry, it's sideways, but that's going to be the wattage. Two amps. Oh. See it cut out there? Two amps. But that is over 26 watts. There you go. About 2.2 amps at 12 volts. Didn't like that. <laughs> what about 2.6 amps from the USB? 2.7? Yeah, it's dropping 8.6. About 2.7. And a 3, 5 volt. Let's see. One amp, two point, Went a little too high, too quick. So 2.3 seems like from 5 volts and then it cuts out. So yeah, these are pretty good little chargers. Um, they're buck only, so you have to have more than 12 volts. But they are good to like 30 something volts, I think. I'll put a link 
to them in the description on AliExpress. But yeah. So I can power two devices with 20 something watts each. And then um, I can get just straight 15 amps out of that. So yeah, there's my little power bank. And the cells should be about 79.8 watt hours. And it should be a little over 20 amp hours of a technical power bank where it's, the voltage is at 3.7 volts. But yes, at the 4S, so that would be one quarter, which is only... Mm, math escapes me right now. But yeah, whatever 79.8 watt hours is divided by 4S voltage. Yeah. Anyway, figured I'd share this guy with you. So far it's been kicking around in my backpack and I have a inverter packed away in there. I'll show you that real quick. I think it's in here. Nope. I just have this in my backpack. Little 12 volt buddy there, and my inverter that I have. This guy. I just I have I've got one of those power meters, and then I can plug this guy in. Guess you really don't really want a rigid connection on it, otherwise it would snap the super glue that I held that on with. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to do more electronic projects, which I have been doing. I just haven't done any videos on them. I've been kind of busy. We're just messing around watching PewDiePie. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to, Pe to me and PewDiePie. Bye.